Hi, I'm Teddy Neptune and today I'm going to react to a song that was released rather recently, about a week ago. Depends on when you're going to watch this video. And um, I chose to react to this song instead of some other songs that are on my list because um, of the current situation. I think most of you know what's going on. So um, I chose to react to this because it may be, at least in its spirit, be um, somehow linked to the overall topic that um, uh, basically the recent situation is about. And um, even if, even if the song is not directly linked to it, um, I think it still gives you some kind of insight to um, the background of what's happening. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I have to find out whether it is true that you know that's what the song is about, um, or maybe it's not. But it seems that way. And this is why I chose to react to the song "DOA" by I Prevail, featuring Joyner Lucas, and. Um, the reason my uploads are so infrequent or so um, so far away from each other, far apart I mean, is that um, I just happen to share a flat with a bunch of people and my family and uh, I don't always have the time, okay? Keep in mind YouTube is just a hobby, it is not my actual job and while the, the lockdown and the Corona situation prevents um, larger events from happening. I still find work at home, writing books or working on them at least. I mean, I've been working on them since 2017, but still working on them, okay, and doing other stuff. And I still have some other music related stuff going on as well. Oh, yeah, I might pause the video here and there to talk about what is happening there. Um, I don't want this to be me just passively um, consuming what is there on the screen uh, but I also want it to be somewhat engaging and um, it also helps with YouTube uh, just so you know and uh, please don't mind my ventilation on my laptop uh, I guess now you do because I mentioned it it's summer and my laptop goes full retard sometimes yeah. Another community shocked by the devastating violence. Thousand registered opioid deaths oh. are under arrest, charged with human trafficking. Students are evacuating with their hands up. On our knees we pray as we rest away. Okay. And we dig our grave, dead on arrival. Okay. So basically, someone is beating another person. Um... Yeah, we have no context, but it seems like the people are just standing around and uh, filming. Now, it is important to film what happens, okay? When you see something and um, you can't, uh, you know, uh, do something yourself, uh, then, of course, filming is uh, better than nothing. But um, there were at least five people, right? Um, I mean, I don't know how strong this, this one person is who's beating up uh, the other guy, but um, five against one to just stop this person, not to beat up the other guy as well. I mean, that would be uh, counterproductive, I guess. Um, yeah, and maybe it's that people just standing around and, you know, filming instead of helping. Close my eyes and contemplate why I chose to be great. I find myself trying to escape from where I'm supposed to be safe. Yeah. Or maybe I should pray like I'm supposed to be saved. Sometimes I feel like getting even, but I chose to behave. I'm mentally locked in a prison and I need bail. But the internet will kill me quicker than the streets will. And if that shit doesn't kill me, then the police will. Or maybe all the refills huh. and the e-pills and the lean will. Okay. Yeah, this song might be more about... Um, a media or social media and attention uh, than um, the violence itself uh, because the last uh, 
a clip or part you saw the scene is basically uh, a person filming themselves while giving charity to uh, I guess homeless people which I mean at the end of the day you are still giving them something right it's not like you are um, not doing something I mean you're still giving that person something and I guess from a homeless person's point of view it really doesn't matter if the intent of the other person who's helping you is to get attention for themselves or sincerely helping you um, if you are doing it for a sincere reason that would be better uh, but I just wanted to point out that uh, if it's money given to a homeless person the homeless person gets it anyway um, yeah Although I don't always or I rarely give money to homeless people knowing that they could buy other things other than food and water. Uh, but that's a different story. I wish I was more flourish. I wish I had more courage. I feel like there's more purpose. And maybe it's all worth it. I want to keep on learning. But I couldn't be more nervous when I keep looking for answers. And I got to keep on searching. The tables keep on turning. Try to call up the Jesus, but the phone keep on ringing. I think I need more service. The calls seem more urgent. Okay, yeah, um, that's interesting. Last part uh, with the soldiers, and you and you saw the um, what is probably a coffin wrapped in the the flag. Um, this is common, not just in the U.S. that you have the flag wrapped around it or put on top. Um, it is somewhat odd to um, fight for your country while you're stationed in someone else's country okay if that makes sense so um, the idea is at least that's what uh, the government says uh, we fight terrorism okay but um, you are fighting in someone else's country in a country where not only terrorists but also normal people live I want to be neutral or give some kind of um, chance to um, object or give your opinion on that as well I mean my op opinion is clear and on my other channel I made a video about it ranting about intervention um, that's a different story now I don't blame the soldiers okay I know there are lots of people who blame soldiers for that or who say um, or they're all just murderers or they join they enlist because they want to kill that's not true and um, if you look at who is joining and that goes not only for the US but also for for Europe um, when you look at um, how much money their families make or made before the people enlisted then you can see that it is people who are underprivileged and minorities who join the military um, so it's not because they are trigger happy and they want to kill people but because of economic reasons and also um, society and so on um, I would blame the ones who are sending the soldiers there so it's usually the old guys in the parliaments and um, in, in the case of the US it would be the White House and Pentagon um, yeah those guys Uh, yeah okay another issue here school shootings I suppose I mean we didn't see a school building but um, young I guess teenagers uh, standing in line straight uh, with their hand on their hearts basically and then next to them uh, an American flag this is something which you don't really see in Germany um, not really not even the only time the only time when um, we actually sang the national anthem in Germany at school was when some of the students um, we just asked the teacher in music class okay it wasn't even anything important other than just for the sake of singing um, when we 
asked the teacher, could we just sing this song? You know, happens to be the national anthem. And um, yeah, that was the only time I sang the national anthem in school, I believe. Maybe there was another occasion, but I don't remember it because um, it really isn't that important. It is just a song for most Germans. Same goes with the flag, it is just a flag. You do see a lot of patriotism during, during uh, football uh, tournaments, World Cup for example. Last one didn't go so well, but um, anyway, uh, it is somewhat odd for Germans to, to really have this, um, this thing with the national anthem and the flags, uh, because while they are symbols for the country, they don't really necessarily mean much, you know, just a song, just a flag. One is an object, the other is just music. And um, in the US, it's the, co the complete opposite. It's it's like you have to sing it at um, any moment. And if you don't, then you are some kind of uh, traitor or whatever. I mean, they freak out because Kaepernick knelt during the anthem. This is something which in Germany, so what? He kneels, who cares? Gets his knee dirty. Grass stains, his choice, whatever. Yeah, guns are quite important for Americans. Not so much for Germans. Um, contrary to popular belief, they are not banned in Germany. They're not even banned in uh, the UK or Australia. Um, they are restricted. You need a gun license. Just like you need a driver's license. Um, but in Germany and in Europe in general, it's also, um, you know, it also applies to guns. And I think it is reasonable and um, the main reason it works in Europe is of course different culture. In the US it seems like um, they want to prepare you for the, the case that some death squad is invading your home to kill you. Most people who break into your house don't want to kill you but um, since there are lots of, lots of guns in the US uh, it is understandable that people still want to defend themselves with firearms as, if necessary. Uh, however, uh, there is a certain obsession with guns, you know. People um, really promoting guns more than let's say a door that keeps people safe, you know, a secure lock, a special one, um, cameras to uh, videotape the entrance to your home or something like that. That is not really the discussion. It's guns and how powerful they are. And I get that. Guns are powerful. They are, because of that, um, very appealing, especially to men, young men. I get that. But in the US, it's even more than in Europe. Because we do have people who go on gun ranges and shoot. We have hunters, we have collectors. But they are very few. And even those that we, we have here, they don't shove it in your face. I mean, maybe it's a wrong impression I got, but it seems to me that Americans really value guns, sometimes even more than um, health or education. But that might be subjective. Not a patriotic moment. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm sorry for pausing so often. Uh, there's just so much happening in the video. Um, yeah, we had another patriotic moment. We had a priest or some clerical person.
uh, collecting donations. Um, of course, the donations are voluntary, I guess. But one could argue, why does the church need donations? I mean, from, from the people going there. Um, or, differently put, what are they doing with the money? Because maybe they're really just doing, um, you know, good stuff with the money. Giving it to people who need it. Uh, you know, preserving existing churches, whatever. Because they don't have any other funding. Uh, it's possible. But um, I think we can safely say that there are situations where it is not, um, uh, you know, a noble cause. People of, um, let's say, unhealthy um, uh, uh, stature are eating, suffering themselves with food. Not necessarily bad because it shows they are not poor and starving, but it's still not healthy, of course. Uh, beauty pigeons. Um, this might be the least um, offensive thing or bad thing in this video so far, I suppose. Okay, if you think about it, it does give you this this idea that you have to look a certain way to be. Um, appealing to others maybe that's that's the criticism here um, and also you could argue they are a somewhat waste of time and distraction from what is very important I mean name me the last 10 winners of the Miss Universe contest if you know them you know out of your head then uh, Good for you, I guess. You have some unnecessary information that will lead you nowhere, won't help you in any career path you take. And for everyone else, I guess you see my point. Yeah, posing with guns. Because that's so cool. Look how gangs I am. Oh. Yeah, okay, I think we can safely say that DOA stands for Dead on Arrival. Um, now we had lots of shots. I mean, like literally gun shots, not just camera shots. Um, firearms. Okay, yeah, it is about violence. Okay, it is about violence, uh, which is interesting. Um, it is very well timed the release of this video, okay? Yeah. Okay, um, uh, the, the last part was a little creepy and uh, unsettling and also somewhat random. I mean, not random, I mean, okay, you had people getting killed, which is the worst thing that can happen to a person, I guess, or maybe not. Okay, I'll take this back because maybe there is something worse than just being dead, but um, that, that creepy dude scene and the other one who is, I suppose, um, acting out in some form of vigilantism, um, that just, you know, came out of nowhere because the other things, they are well known for 
the US, you know, everything, you know, there's the strong faith, which is sometimes misused, um, the gun culture, which is sometimes just excessive, the fast food, the, um, the social issues with, you know, the junkies and the violence, the school shooting. Um, there are so many reasons for that, but they are common in the US. The last bit was a little, um, for me at least, out of nowhere because I do not have the um, the image in my head that Americans are rapey or something like that, whatever. But vigilantism, uh, not the proper procedure of, you know, uh, taking care of criminals, even rapists, but um, I guess at this point when you have mass shootings, I mean, yeah, okay, so you choke someone who is an actual bad guy, maybe not the the weirdest thing you could do. And lots of um, people getting shot, yeah, I mentioned that before. We also saw soldiers who, um, who die and then the coffins wrapped in the flags. Again, um, just a reminder of people being sent overseas to fight there for supposedly freedom, defense of the homeland, while being on the other end of the planet. Now, whatever. But it is definitely um, thought-provoking. Oh, everyone there. The singers, the band as well. Yo. Alright. Nice. Great music video. Now, um, I did focus more on the video aspect than on the audio aspect. But overall, uh, the, the complete music video is just great. Every component of it is worthy of praise. I'm talking about the camera, uh, the audio, the band, the rapper, and um, just just everything shown there. It is great. It is worthy of praise. It is important. And um, I'm sure if you're American, you probably um, heard or saw that kind of uh, stuff uh, way too often. But I think it is still uh, worthy of um, being shown. It is important. And it does not only address violence per se, but also um, everything around it, you know. And uh, certain, I don't want to use this word because I sound like some kind of weird preacher, but a certain decadence and um, kind of um, distraction from what is necessary. Social media, I mentioned that um, at the beginning. Social media, people uh, craving for attention, I guess. Um, all of that. There's a lot of stuff happening in the video. Okay, I guess you guys know why I chose to react to this song. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's talk about it, okay? George Floyd. So, um, it doesn't matter how you frame it. Uh, there are lots of people, most people I guess, who say it was murder, which is really bad because that means a police officer murdered someone. Was it neglect? So it was still killing, but the intention wasn't there, it was a different one. It is still bad because you are a professional, you are not supposed to neglect, and if it was an accident, if it were an accident, and uh, uh, no one wanted it, it is still bad because as a professional you are supposed to apprehend anyone who is either a suspect or perpetrator without killing them unless they are posing a threat, which was not the case. It doesn't matter how you frame it, you really messed up, okay? Um, I know the name of the police officer is already out there, I'm not going to name him. Um, 
it is enough to know that it was a police officer. I'm not in the police force. I've never been a police officer. And I don't claim to be a good one. But if you are a police officer, that means that you are a person of authority, who stands for law and order, whose motto is to serve and protect, which means that you have to represent all of those things and this responsibility is given to you not because it's easy but because it is hard okay and you want to do that you want that job then you have to be willing to do it properly so everyone who says that there were people around he was being surrounded you know how hostile people are you ha you have to deal with it your job is to be a police officer. If you can handle people around you, if you can handle pressure, if you can handle a person who is screaming or begging for uh, mercy, who can't breathe, if you can handle the situation, then you are not made to be a police officer. You shouldn't be in the police force. And the training you got is just not enough for police. It's it's not a police training you got. If If they taught you that this was okay, put a knee on someone's neck. I know it's the back of someone's neck, but it's still in that region and you are suffocating someone. There are so many instances of European police officers. It doesn't matter which country. You can also take England, for example, where there are occasions of police violence uh, more than in the Netherlands or Iceland. Even if you take those countries, they apprehend criminals who are armed with machetes they apprehend them without killing them because they know that if they take them alive they can question them they can find out what was the matter what caused that a kind of behavior uh, how could that be prevented all of that but in the US it's either pew 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 or choke 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 something like that it just doesn't make sense if you want to be a law enforcer then you have to enforce the law, not break it. If you commit murder, you are breaking the law. It doesn't matter if you're wearing blue and have a badge, you're still a murderer. I can, I can understand that people get mad at this, because this is not the first time it happened. There are some situations where even I would admit it is a grey situation. Um, there are lots of people who point at Eric Garner's case as police brutality. I guess it is for European standards, but um, I I would I will give him I will give him that. Eric Garner did move around. He 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 went somewhat aggressive, not attacking, but he he spoke somewhat aggressively and he made those gestures. Okay, but in this case, none of that happened, except that a police officer just killed an unarmed civilian. Um, the fact that George Floyd was black uh, may or may not have played a role in the killing. Okay, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it was something else. Maybe it wasn't the skin tone that made the police officer think he could get away with it. But um, it happens often to black people. And I know there are people who point out that um, at least recently more whites have been killed by the police. But um, you also have to consider this. There are far more whites in the country than black people. And if you look at those statistics and then count in the percentage of population, uh, black and white, you get a different picture. And um, the ones who point out that black people commit more crime statistically, they are ignoring, those are ignoring that Blacks are also more likely to be um, accused of crimes more often and um, sentenced to whatever punishment that is included in the statistics with blacks committing crimes because um, the ones who make those statistics they have to take some kind of number they can't just wildly guess so they take every number they have everyone who is um, sentenced for whatever crime they have committed to a certain amount of time or to death, whatever. But the looting does not help. I mean, it makes you look like the crazy 
opportunistic, uh, vile creatures that they accuse you to be if you harm innocent store owners or just bystanders, whatever. But you also have to keep in mind that the looting is done by blacks and whites. There are lots of suburban rich kids doing that. There are lots of situations where you have people who do not even seem to be part of the Black Lives Matter or whatever movement doing that. Uh, that brings me to the next point, Black Lives Matter. What is so hard to understand that Black Lives Matter simply means, it is simply a statement that says Black Lives Matter. It does not say white lives do not matter. Where does it say that? When I say that a banana is yellow, am I saying that lemons are not yellow? Am I saying that? Why would you assume that unless you have a bias already, unless it it fits your narrative? Shouting all lives matter or blue lives matter to counter black lives matter, you know, with the purpose of drowning the Black Lives Matter movement or making them look bad it's really just a subtle implied racism and um, I mentioned that in my reaction to No Lives Matter by Body Count uh, you can check that out but this is really a serious situation and um, when I heard the news, honestly, I was not surprised. I wasn't. In fact, I wasn't even surprised when I saw the video of Floyd getting murdered. I saw the video and thought, yeah, okay, that's that's what happens. I'm so desensitized by things which happen across the Atlantic Ocean. So I don't know what that tells you about me or about yourself, but you should keep that in mind. I saw that video and I just thought, yeah, of course they did that. I mean, at some point they would. I thought so, because um, we had many similar situations. Maybe not that that open, but still. And the, the riots, I just thought, yeah, that's a natural reaction that people will have. At some point, it will just explode. I mean... It is not about the murder of one person only. This is a situation that has been building up. The riots, however, um, they did also happen during the civil rights movement days. Believe it or not, people who say that Martin Luther King would not have wanted that, maybe he would not have wanted it to turn into violence, but there was riots happening at that time and even the more uh, radical uh, activists such as Ma uh, Malcolm X they made Martin Luther King look so reasonable that white people supported this reasonable preaching guy who was so much more chill than the rest and you also have to keep in mind that the writing which definitely happened at the time of the civil rights movement, it forced the government to take action to change the situation. And it really did play into uh, MLK's hand. Okay, look, Kaepernick knelt, uh, the, the NBA players, they had their I can't breathe t-shirts, uh, jerseys, whatever. There were so many peaceful protests and they didn't do anything to change the situation. Of course, at some point, people are going to riot. Um, looting is bad. Attacking police officers and innocent bystanders is bad. But at the same time, what do you expect people to do if they know that peaceful, peaceful protests don't work? Uh, social media only makes... Uh, them look like crazy SJWs, race baiting, whatever. What do you expect them to do then? I live in Germany for 24 years. I'm 24 years old, so my whole life. And not once was I harassed by the police. In fact, 
The only interaction I had with the police was me approaching them to ask for a direction somewhere and they just gave me a friendly answer and told me, oh yeah, it's there. They didn't, you know, do this or back away or, you know, pull out taser or something like that. They didn't do any of that. They didn't even look at me with suspicion because they saw me as a fellow human being. Keep in mind that law enforcement officers, despite their fancy name, are in reality just organized civilians who agreed to enforce the law. But they are also professionals and they should be trained. And um, if you think this is surprising, that I've never been in any way made to feel bad in presence of police, it tells a lot about your country. Because I live in Germany, the country that invented the Nazis and the Gestapo and also the Stasi. And uh, I never had a bad encounter with the police. Let that sink in and um, I'd like to hear your thoughts or read your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section what you think of that. Um, yeah. I, I didn't address the other issues in the video, not that much. Um, I will talk about those things in, um, in different videos under my different channel, under, under another channel. Um, because I want to address that more thoroughly and not just, you know, now after reacting to a music video. Anyway, um, check out the link in the description box, the original to the music video. And um, thank you for watching and have a nice day. And stay safe, especially if you are in the US right now. <laughs>